I'm taking off from Virginia from Edith's Gap in an area that offers year-round fantastic flying. In light south winds, I beam up immediately to 3,500 feet and go downwind northbound. Not high at all and opening up in Bentonville and again just beyond to catch thermal rippers from the valley. So here I am, ready to leave the Massanutten Mountain. Passing from Royal Airport to my right and catching the clouds parked over the Shenandoah River. From here it goes over Interstate I-66, aiming at the clouds ahead. Down below is Lake Frederick, and I take the cloud downwind of it. I'm now passing Stevens City, with Winchester cooking under the thermal clouds. All good, till I hit the big sink at the end of Winchester. And I take my bat on the lowest parking lot. Bingo, and it looks like this. Yo, you want to slow down and concentrate to stay in that thermal, low drifting with it downwind. Soon after, I'm on a good line to North Mount, with blue sky next to the nice clouds. The clouds are in airspace as shown on my mid flight. A good marker is the road going up. Time to stick to the ridge to avoid the Martinsburg airspace. I keep on going north with a big blue hole ahead. Arriving at Hatchville, I just passed the 100 km mark. The town is bubbling thermals, and I should have waited a bit longer, as beyond, I won't hit sink to land just south of the Potomac River and I-70 in Maryland. Yeah, and check this out, almost a peak collision on my approach. And this is my track in red from Edith's Gap, scraping all the way to Front Oil, crossing to Winchester, connecting to North Mountain, and landing in Hatchville, West Virginia. I got my first ride from local Brian Spencer. That's the second time in 10 days he gives me a ride out of the same area. Awesome Brian. Thanks for watching this Tomsey paragliding video.